Hey guys! So there are going to be three categories of books. Some I traded for on Twitter, which is actually the majority of all of these. And then another category is books that I bought, and then another category is books that I got at B-Fest at Barnes & Noble in June. So let's just jump into this craziness. received two books to review in the month of June. The first one is Guilt Hollow by Lori Langdon. You guys know this is one of the co-authors of one of my favorite series of all time, which is Dune. I think that this is a thriller and it's going to be really exciting and it comes out in September. I'm good at this. It says 09. That's September. I'm good at this. Really good at this. Oh my gosh. And the other book I was sent to review last month was Kindly Sent by Simon & Schuster, so thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me this book, and that is Tales of Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. Wasserman. Something like that. This is a big book, guys. I didn't expect it to be this huge, but when I got it in the mail, I... I didn't think it would be this big, so I thought, oh my gosh, what if this is the first book in the last hours? <sighs> it wasn't, of course. I don't even know if she's done writing that one yet, but... I know a ton of people are highly anticipating this book, so I feel very privileged to have it in my hands. Um, it comes out in November, so that's not that far away. It's, it's not that long of a wait. You can do it. I believe in you. Now we're going to jump into the section of books that I purchased last month. These first two were from Half Price Books because I live there, basically. This first one is The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, and this is a first edition, guys. This is a first edition hardcover, and it's beautiful. I mean, can we just have a moment for this, like, the back? Oh my gosh, it's like an exclusive letter from Kyron. And then in that same Half Price Books trip, they had another rare, beautiful edition of Percy Jackson, and that was the UK edition of The Sea of Monsters, and it's beautiful, and I love it, and it was, uh, $4, and it's just gorgeous. Like, I, this is like my fourth copy of Sea of Monsters or something. Stop judging me! This next book I also purchased from Half Price Books on a different trip, and that is The Archive by Victoria Schwab. I now have two books by her. I've heard amazing things about her books forever, and I really want to read A Darker Shade of Magic. I just decided to pick this one up, even though I'm probably not going to be reading it super soon. I just wanted to have it because everyone loves it so much, and I really want to read her books. Plus, it was like $8 in hardcover because it's half price books. Okay, this next book I actually just bought a few days ago at Target, and it is The Shannara Chronicles. The Elf Stones of Shannara by Terry Brooks. Guys, I binge watched the first season of Shannara Chronicles in like three days, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's like ten episodes. But still, oh my gosh. Like, the day that I finished it, I went out and bought this book. And I know that, like, this is, like, the continuation after the first season. But I just wanted to have it because I love it so much and I love these characters and I just wanted to have the book. Okay, this is the final book that I bought this month and it is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. You guys know I've already read this because I love it and I talk about it all the time. So you're probably wondering why I bought it again because I have the hardcover. Um, basically, I have been trying ever since they were like out in the world to get an arc of A Torch Against the Night because I loved An Ember in the Ashes so much. I was entering giveaways and asking people on Twitter like when they're trading it like well, please trade with me. Just like all this stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, I was so desperate. And so I always said, if I ever get an arc of it, like if I ever score an arc of it, I'm going to buy the paperback because like then it's like the same format as the arc because I'm going to reread this one. And then like the covers match and it's just beautiful. And so um, I bought it because guess what? Guess what? I scored an arc of a torch against the night, a torch against the night, and it's so beautiful with its first one. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, guys. <laughs> so I almost cried when I opened this package. It's just, oh my gosh, I just, oh, it's my baby. This is like one of my most anticipated arcs of the entire year, and the fact that I'm holding it is too much for my fangirl heart to handle. <laughs> so A Torch Against the Night was the first book in the next category, which is the trades that I've traded for on Twitter. <laughs> so after A Torch Against the Night, the next one I have to show is The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye, and I have the hardcover of this because I pre-ordered it because it sounds so amazing, but I always wanted the arc because some books you just want an arc form because they're so floppy and you just want to read it in floppy format and it's just 
just certain books. The next book I got is The Lovely Reckless by Kimmy Garcia, and this is her new novel. I have only read Beautiful Creatures by her, and I haven't even finished that one, but I've been hearing nothing but amazing things about this. I don't really know what it's about. All I know is it's like a romance. Everyone loves it so much. I'm like, does it have some deep stuff in it? Like some emotional, that's why people love it, I don't know. I know my good friend Avery loved it, and I really am excited because if she loved it, I might probably, probably love it. The next arc I traded for was Remember to Forget by Ashley Royer. This book is about amnesia, I believe, which I've always wanted to read a book about. I like keep seeing different ones and then I don't get them, and I just really want to read one about amnesia. And this is also by the same publisher of like Dune and Guilt Hollow. I'm so excited to read this, plus the author is like, 18 or something, which is crazy and awesome. The next arc I have to show is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, my second Victoria Schwab book that I own, and it's very exciting, and this is her newest book that just came out a few days ago. Everyone is loving it so, so, so much, and I just want to read her beautiful writing. I'm sure it's beautiful. Everyone says it's beautiful. The next book I have to show is Dreamology by Lucy K Keating? Keating? something like that. It just sounds so cute and crazy and fun and oh my gosh I'm so excited because dreams really fascinate me and so I'm just really excited about this one. I know people are loving it and it came out um, in April so it's an older arc but I'm really excited about it. Plus you guys know I like to read contemporaries in paperback. Next I have Flamecaster by Cinda Williams Chima. This is the first book in one of her new series. Um, this also came out in April so it's also an older arc. I read the synopsis for this book and it sounded so good and so I decided to trade for it. The next book I have is Replica by Lauren Oliver. This book is released in October I think. Um, I traded with Jessie from Jessie Ellie's for this, and she's so awesome, guys. If you're not subscribed to her or following her on Instagram or anything, she's so cool. And I'm just really excited to have this book because it's so cool. You guys have probably already heard what it's about, and I don't really have time in this video to talk about it because this video is getting really long. I just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this book. It sounds so interesting and cool, and it's just awesome. Plus, it came in this case. It's not actually blue and yellow, guys. That was actually shocking to me. It's actually a white book with a pink butterfly on it, and you guys know what it's about. You know, so I'm just not going to explain it, but yeah. So I'm really excited about this. Thank you, Jesse, for trading with me. The second to last arc I have to show is Furthermore by Tahera Mafi, and she is the author of the Shadow Me trilogy. I'm sure you all know that. You all know who she is. She's so cool, and her husband is Ransom Riggs, who wrote Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and they are my OTP. They're so cute. I haven't read any of their books. I don't care. That's awful. I need to read Shatter Me and Miss Peregrine so badly. They're so high on my TBR, and I haven't read them. And it's just, it hurts my heart, and I want to read them so badly. So there was someone on Twitter who wanted a book that I had, and they had this one, and so I was like, oh my gosh, I want it, I want it, I want it. So my plan is to marathon the Shadow Me trilogy in like a few days, if not like probably a week. And then after I'm like depressed because that's over, <laughs> then I can read Furthermore, which is like her writing, so it'll make me happy, but then it's also middle grade, so it's going to be like happy and like... It looks very Alice in Wonderland-esque, and it's just gonna be a happy thing, probably, I hope. The final book I have to show in the trade section is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the sequel to Illuminae, which I'm currently reading, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish it right now, because I'm kind of going into a reading slump, and I need something really quick and, like, easy. I don't know, this book is just kind of difficult to read just because it's so complicated, but, um, I'm definitely gonna be picking it up and finishing it soon. And I have the sequel now, Gemini, and it's so beautiful, guys! Like, oh my gosh, do you see this? Okay, so the final category of books that I have to show are the books that I received at B-Fest or bought at B-Fest at Barnes & Noble that weekend. I have a whole vlog up. If you haven't watched it, it's up on my channel, and I will link it right here, so you can just click right there. It'll open a new tab, and you can watch my B-Fest vlog. I vlogged all three days, and it was really, really fun. <laughs> So I bought three books, and I got three books that I'm going to show you, and I got a few more that I'm not going to show just because I'm probably not going to keep them. The first one that I bought was Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. This author lives in the Dallas area like I do, and so basically I've seen her at a ton of events, and I've never actually talked to her or like read any of her books. So finally for B-Fest, she was there, and I was like, okay, I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to talk to her, I'm going to buy Dumplin', and I'm going to read it, and I haven't read it yet. 
<laughs> shocking but she signed it and it was really cool finally talking to her she's so awesome and so nice and I also bought the cloak society by Jeremy Kratz because he was also there with Julie Murphy and he was so cool so I had to get his book because that's what happens when I'm at an event I'm like I'm not gonna buy any books and then I meet the author and I'm like you're so cool and so I have to buy their book it's I have no willpower so I got this one signed as well and it is a middle grade sort of Percy Jackson ish I think fantasy and so that's exciting I don't know when I'm gonna get to it the final book that I bought at Bee Fest is The Winter Sea by Susanna Kearsley Oh my gosh, guys, I've had this on my wish list for years, like literally years on my Amazon wish list, and I've just never bought it, and I don't know why. Recently, Sasha from A Book Utopia has been raving about her books and just talking about how, like, they always take place in Wales or England or Scotland, and how the writing is so beautiful, and all the storylines sound so amazing, and this is the one that I had wanted for years. And so I was at Barnes & Noble and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it. Like, finally, the day has arrived, I'm gonna buy this book. It takes place in Scotland and it's just, oh my gosh, go read the synopsis. It sounds so good and I'm just so excited to finally have it. It's my baby. Okay, these final three books are ones that I received at Bee Fest for free. The first one is Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louis or Louise. Garnall. I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. This one is not released until January 2017, which is crazy. It is about a girl who has severe OCD, I believe. And yeah, so she can't leave her house. It sounds a little like everything, everything, but then there's this guy who comes in and shows her how to just chill, you know? And I have slight OCD. I'm not joking. Like, if things are out of place and it's bothering me, I have to fix it. Like, it has become worse over the years, and I just need to chill out because it's annoying and I need to stop being obnoxious. So this book will be very beneficial towards me. The cover is so beautiful. I got this like randomly in a bag, and I'm so thankful for it because it sounds amazing, and I love the cover, and I'm just really excited to have it. This one is one from Mary. You guys probably know her on Twitter, Knox Driver. She's amazing. Um, she won the grand prize for the like trivia on the first night of Bee Fest and it had all these arcs in it and it had The Sun is also a star in it by Nicole Yoon who's the author of Everything Everything. So she won this and she showed that this was in it and so when it was all over and she came walking around I was like oh my gosh you got The Sun is also a star I'm so jealous and she was like do you want it and I was like what? Like, no, you want it. So she was like, I already have one at home, so if you want it, I can also, also, the author is gonna be at a Barnes & Noble that I'm going to tomorrow night, so I can just, like, go get it signed for you, to you. Like, Mary, you are the queen of the universe. The queen, okay? Thank you so, 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 so much. You are amazing. Not only for giving this art to me, which is beautiful, but you got it signed to me and for me and it's lovely and oh my gosh because I, like, I have an arc of everything everything so now they're matching and oh I'm so excited the final book that I have to show is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Miniscalco when I found out that this arc was going to be at Bee Fest you should have seen my face my jaw dropped and then like I was like this is too good to be true like it can't they're not gonna just be giving it away I was there for the cover reveal of this book and everything and I'm just I have it! I have it in my hands! This author is so wonderful. If you're not following her on Twitter, you should be. This book comes out in September, and look at that cover. Oh my gosh, guys, if you've read The Madman's Daughter, it's like my favorite, one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Like, it's way up there, and this sounds just like it. Like, look, look at all the medical stuff. Oh my gosh, look, let's just do like a... I've just, I've never done this bookend face before thing, but I think I did a pretty good job. So, you guys have to read this book when it comes out. If you love The Mad Man's Daughter especially, just read The Mad Man's Daughter and this, like, yes. Those are all of the books that I received in June and early July. I'm so thankful for every single one of them. I just, oh my gosh, I got so many. It's ridiculous. They don't fit on my bookshelves. I need another bookshelf, and I don't have room for another bookshelf, and it's crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but yeah, so also I just want to mention one more thing that I received early in July Because it's so wonderful and it's not a book, but it's bookish and I'm just I gotta show you So in case you guys are not aware I am a rep for behind the pages on Instagram Which means that they basically send me their products and then I post about them and try them out and like share and promote them Basically they have amazing watercolor designs and bookmarks. It's poster back here actually is from them It says it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be 
from Harry Potter, obviously. And so they recently came out with this new product, which will blow your minds. So they're basically book boyfriend soaps. Just let that sink in. Just... So she has some amazing fictional men characters on the list. And so she sent me two of them, and I'm kind of in love with these soaps. I've tried both of them. Can you guess what one of them is? Like, you probably can't. Um, you know, obviously. Percy. Oh my gosh, guys. This smells like Percy. It's just... <laughs> and it's sea green like his eyes. <gasps> and the other one that I chose to receive, because he's my other fictional husband, basically, is Will, because Will Herondale is my husband as well as Percy. It's a problem, but not really. Like, <laughs> don't judge. Don't judge. So, you guys know how much I love the Infernal Devices trilogy. Guys, it's blue like his eyes. I- you can't really see there, like, it's like royal blue and it's beautiful. <gasps> this smell is like- it's like Will Herondale is here with you and I could literally smell this all day. It makes me so happy. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about her products in one of my videos because I post about it on Bookstagram, but I've never talked about it on here. So here are three of the products. Oh, and I guess while I'm at it, and since they're like right there, I'll just show you the bookmarks because they're beautiful. Lady Midnight, Harry Potter, oh, well, Harry Potter's hiding. And Ember in the Ashes, Harry Potter, Burning Glass, Throne of Glass, and it has like Selene on the back. They are so beautiful, guys. Her products are just amazing and She's about to come out with this new product, which is like, oh my gosh, amazing, guys. Amazing. So if you guys do want to check out Behind the Pages, I will link the Etsy shop down below, as well as, like, all of their links and the website. If you want to use my code, LizzyLB, it's, I'll put it right here so you can get it right, and it gets you 10% off your order. If you want to get book boyfriend soaps, posters... So that is it for this video. I know it was super long. I hope you got a snack or something. So thank you guys so much for watching. There's a bug. Get off of my camera. Get... No. Leap. Go away. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was super long, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you've read any of these, tell me what you thought, and just tell me which one I should read first, even though I'm kind of in a reading slump right now, a little bit, just because Shannara Chronicles killed me? That ending? No? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.